Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu on a Windows PC using VirtualBox. Whether you are a beginner, curious about Linux, or you just want to run Ubuntu without messing with your main system, this is the perfect guide for you. I'll go through everything from downloading the required files to setting up your virtual machine and running Ubuntu smoothly on your Windows. So let's get started and bring Linux to your life. For this process, we will be needing these three files. The first one is the Ubuntu 25 ISO file. Next is the VirtualBox setup file. And the last one is the VirtualBox extension pack. So open any browser and search Ubuntu ISO and open the first official link. So here you can see the Ubuntu 24 version. And if you scroll down a bit, you will see the Ubuntu 25 version. So for running it on a Windows PC, you need to download the first file. Just click on the download button and save the file to your desktop. As I have already downloaded the file, so I will skip this process. Next, you have to download the VirtualBox setup file. To do that, just Google VirtualBox download and open the first official link. So this is the official VirtualBox website. Under VirtualBox platform packages, click on the Windows host link and download the VirtualBox setup file and save it to your desktop. Next, under VirtualBox extension pack, click on accept and download button and save the VirtualBox extension pack file on your desktop. Once all the files have been downloaded, close your browser. Now, double click on the VirtualBox setup file and proceed with the installation. The steps are very basic. Just follow the on-screen instructions to install VirtualBox on your Windows. Once installed, you have to double click on the VirtualBox extension pack file. Now your VirtualBox application will open and you will see this pop up to install the VirtualBox extension pack. Just click on the install button to install the extension pack. Once everything is ready, the next step is to create your Ubuntu virtual machine. To do that, click on new. Under name, type in your name of your virtual machine. I'm keeping it Ubuntu. Now. Under ISO image, click on the downward arrow and select others. Now, locate your Ubuntu ISO file that you have just downloaded. Once the file is selected, click on the open button. Keep everything as default and then click on unattended install tab. So here you will have to type in your Ubuntu username and password. So make sure you remember this as we will be needing this while logging into your Ubuntu system. Now, this is a very crucial step. Here, we will force to install the guest editions. This feature is unique on the VirtualBox 7 version and previously we had to manually install the guest editions, which was a very complicated process. So, just tick on guest edition checkbox and locate your guest edition ISO file. Here, you will see this ISO file that has been attached by default. If not, just click on the downward arrow and select others. Now go to your computer Click on your C drive and then go to program files. Now open the Oracle folder and then open the VirtualBox folder. Now scroll down below and you will see this VBOX guest edition ISO file. Just select this file and click on the open button. VirtualBox guest editions are essential for improving the performance and usability of the virtual machine, which includes your display resolution, mouse integration and many other required features. So moving on, under hardware, Increase your base memory to a desired green limit. I will keep it something around 8 gigs. Under processors, increase your number of processors to 4. Once everything is set, click on the finish button and your Ubuntu virtual machine will automatically start booting.
Here, you will see these three options. So you have to select try and install Ubuntu and press enter on your keyboard. With this, your Ubuntu installation will begin. You can now sit tight and relax for around 15 to 30 minutes until the installation is complete. For me, it took around 24 minutes to complete the installation process, after which your virtual machine will automatically shut down. Once the installation is complete and your virtual machine is turned off, you can just click on the start button and you will be booted into your Ubuntu operating system. Once started, you will be redirected to the login screen, where you will have to input your password. Just type in your password and press enter. So congratulations, your Ubuntu is now ready and you can explore its features and enjoy Ubuntu 25 on your virtual box on your Windows PC. Here are a few more important steps that you need to perform to update your Ubuntu to the latest version. To do that, open terminal and type in the following commands. Once typed, press enter. Now this will take a while and it will update all the Linux headers. Once done, type in the following command. Once typed, press enter. Now this will update all the applications to the latest version. In the meantime, if you like, you can change your screen resolution. If you wish, you can run your Ubuntu virtual machine in full screen mode. Just click on view and click full screen mode. Now your Ubuntu will always run in full screen. You can also explore the app center and install any applications that you wish to use on your Ubuntu operating system. If you wish to turn off your virtual machine, just click on this account icon on the top right corner of a screen and click on the power off button to shut it down. If you ever want to start your Ubuntu, just open your virtual box and click on the start button to restart your Ubuntu operating system. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you face any issues, just comment down below and I will get back to you. So don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorial like these. I'll see you in the next one.